Now, a few months ago, I put out a video on SEO for WordPress using the Yoast plugin, which is the number one top plugin for SEO for WordPress. And uh, at that time, I was using Yoast version 2, which was the current version that was out. And then uh, about maybe two months ago or so, maybe two and a half months ago, they released Yoast version 3, which changed some visual things with the plugin. And it kind of added a lot of confusion. There's certain things that are not intuitive. Now, one of the things that uh, you really want to use Yoast for is on a page by page basis and a post by post basis on your site so you can determine certain s you can set certain uh, seo values and sharing values and stuff like that so let me just jump into a post really quick and show you what i'm talking about show you where it's not intuitive and where this information might kind of bridge the gap on what you need to do in order to add seo to your wordpress website now to follow along in this tutorial you might want to install yoast you can easily go to plugins, add new, and uh, do a search for Yoast right here. Um, let's see, what A-S-T, and uh, voila, here it is. And it's one of the top plugins that have ever been created for WordPress. And then here is the main settings there on the left for Yoast. But I'm not gonna get into that right now. I want to show you how to SEO a particular post or page on your site. This is what's known as on-page SEO. So uh, this is just the default WordPress installation. I'm going to create a new post and let's give it a name. How about that? How to SEO your WordPress website. So I'll make that the name of my post. So what you'll notice is as soon as you put a title in, WordPress will generate the actual URL that will be used for this post. Now this is a development on my local machine, so that's why it says dev, not .com. But here it is. So one of the things with SEO is you want your keyword phrase or whatever is the main phrase that you're targeting, you want that in the URL. And so WordPress just grabs that and takes it down. So here's your article. And when you scroll down here, you see the Yoast SEO panel right here. So before it was real intuitive to know how to change certain things. So what this is supposed to be right here, what you're seeing right here is how this page on your site would look when someone is on Google searching and Google decided to show this page on your website. This is how it will look. And you can see immediately there's some problems with it. Um, here, actually, let me just show you a Google search real quick. Let's see, how to SEO your WordPress website. Okay, so when you do that, here's your title. It's funny, Yoast comes up number one. So here's that uh, title, here's the description, and here is the URL. So if I go back into that page that I was working on. Here's the title, here is the URL, and here is the description. So obviously, if this is what Google was showing, you could spice it up a lot. So what you used to be able to do is real easy to know how to change it. Now you actually just click into it like that, and then you could start typing away. So right here you could type um, your new description. And, uh, oops, let me get rid of that. Okay, so you could type that out right here and then click away. And you can usually get about two lines. There's a specific amount of characters you're allowed to get in there and you want to use them all up. But this is going to be where you want to type something a little more compelling to get someone to click into your website. And then here is how your the, the title area shows. So that's what you see here. And you can change that too by just clicking into it and typing away. Uh, three ways to three ways to boost your SEO or whatever. And you have more space that you can uh, uh, change that as well. And here's where you could change the URL if you want it to be something different. You could just click in it and you can add characters. Now what's really neat is if I change this 
since a website, let's just call it site, and I click off, it actually updates it up here too. So it's kind of uh, linked, so that's kind of nice. So this is where you're gonna manipulate some of the uh, most important metadata with each of your posts or pages on your WordPress website. Now here's a feature I don't use. You, it, you can enter a keyword that you wanna optimize this page or post for, and you put it here, and it's gonna analyze what you put together and give you some pointers on what you need to do to um, have Google look at this content and say, hmm, I think this is about that keyword, okay? Uh, so there's some different tips to it as well, and here's the tips that it's going to give you. I never use this, never used it once, uh, but I do know a lot of people like to use it. Now you also have these options here on the left. So right here's a little uh, wrench there, and uh, right here's where you can decide if you want Google to index this page or not. Now they don't have to obey it, but they usually do. So you can have this page or post not added to the wor the website's sitemap. Okay, so it kind of, it's there, but Google's not telling people it's there type of deal. All right, so here's uh, where you change that. You click on no index and uh, no follow. And uh, right here, just click on none. You don't want it, um, you don't want it added to the sitemap at all. And then right here, this is uh, very important. And let's click on it. This is what the social sharing settings are gonna be. And what that is, is if someone says, hmm, I like this post, I wanna share it on Facebook, and they take the URL, they jump over to Facebook, and then they paste it in their post, then Facebook's gonna go to that URL, which is the site here, and it's gonna grab an image, and it's gonna grab a title, and it's gonna grab a description. And right here, you actually get to specify it. Now, if you don't say, if you don't set it, it's just gonna grab whatever it wants. Facebook's gonna grab whatever it wants to grab, and most likely it's not gonna be the right image that you want associated uh, with the share. So right here, you can choose the title, you can choose the description, and you can choose the image that Facebook would use, okay? And don't forget right here, you have another tab, and that's for Twitter, and you can essentially do the same thing for Twitter. So if you have content that gets shared, who doesn't have content that you want to get shared? I know I do, please share this post. Um, but you can set right here what you want it to be. Now I do set this because it's actually very important and that's how you get that viral traffic to your site. So you really want to take the extra few minutes and go in here and set the Facebook and Twitter settings and you really want to take the extra time right here and you want to set this uh, snippet right here with their snippet editor. Now this is the biggest change that happened from two to three from a user doing stuff perspective. And I remember when I first upgraded, I'm like, where do I edit my title description and all that? Because it wasn't intuitive that you needed to click. And I think later they added these little pencil icons in this kind of hover effect to, so you can think I'll just click in there. But before it wasn't like that. And, and even though it's right under your nose, uh, it wasn't so easy to find, unfortunately. So now, uh, just so you know, Yoast is free. They also have a paid version. I've never used the paid version. You can get the paid version if you want, if you want. And there's several added features. Uh, but for me, the free version is perfectly fine. But if you do want to buy it and support the developers, just head over to Yoast.com and take a look at all the different things that they are offering. So I hope this helps explain uh, some of these uh, aspects of Yoast and SEO, on-page SEO for your website. Yes, you made it to the end of the video, which must mean that it brought value to you. So can you go ahead and click on the thumbs up down below? That'll help me out. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to click on the subscribe button right down below me. Now, if you want to find me on the internet, I've got a special Facebook group that I set up for people just like you that want answers to their WordPress website. And that's where you can find me, interact with me, and ask me questions. So go ahead and click on the blue button down below to join that special Facebook group. Now, I never want you to leave empty-handed, so I've created a free video course for you called the 
three steps to WordPress success. In this video course, you're gonna really learn how to make your website shine, get the results that you want, and have it really stand out from the crowd. So to access that free video course, go ahead and click on the link over here on the right. You can also find me at wpcrafter.com. Make sure you check out my 60 minute website challenges. Those are very popular and you can find those on the website as well. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I make these videos just for you and I hope you watch the next one.